Hello and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. Last episode we bonded with Machias and um, we uh, ran into uh, uh, Misty from the uh, um, the news station. We found out that she's actually Vita Cotilde, the, the opera singer in disguise. It's alright. Um, we're about to take the practical exam. Alright, it's time for this month's thrilling practical exam. Is everyone ready? Ready as I'm going to be. Anytime. Being a first year against, again, has been no sweat up till now, but I guess my luck's run out for combat training. And I can't even skip out since they won't let me graduate without it. You do want to actually finish school someday, right? You spend more class asleep than awake, so you could at least put some effort into the practical exam. Right, right, I know. This is the part where we get to fight those things that look like Lammy, right? Can't wait to jump in. Hey, can we start yet? Can we please? Would you at least make a token effort to rein in your hyperactive outburst? She's she's 13. Leave him alone, Machias. It's amazing how much just adding two new classmates can shake things up. I guess I could have could have you all fight the combat shell. But since we got two new challengers this month, how about we try a little something different? Something different? I wonder what strange ideas she's concocted today. We're going to be put in teams of two. I mean, uh, I, two teams. Good instructors got to keep you guessing. And by now, you should be prepared for anything. So, Reen, Crow, Milliam. Yes, instructor? Gotcha. Right here. You're the first team. What? The rest of you will be divided into two groups. An all-girls team and an all-boys team. Emma's team will be team class president. Marcus, your team is team vice president. Marine's team will be team whatever. <laughs> each team will be facing off against each other in a series of mock battles. Those are the dumbest team names I've ever heard. I can't really disagree, but I don't think the names are the biggest issue here. Quite an interesting split. Hey, wait a minute. Why are the three of us in a totally separate team, and why do we have fewer members than them too? Well, by my estimation, these three teams are about equal in strength. Both the girls and the boys teams are well balanced in terms of weapons and combat styles represented. And while your team does have fewer members, Crow has a lot of experience and William is, has our good one. So I think that kind of evens out your one man disadvantage, don't you? I see. It does actually make sense. We're gonna get fucked by Fee's team. The girls team is stacked. Hmm. At least these teams divisions are less contrived than I've come to expect from our field study groups. Although, the part where a certain someone always draws the short straw remains remarkably consistent. Oh? Who do you mean? I wonder which poor sucker keeps getting stuck on the hard luck teams. Fine, fine. I'll take the hand I'm dealt this time. Ooh, I like that spunk. Well, then. Let's get down to business, shall we? The first battle will be between Team Whatever and Team Vice President. Alright, assume your positions, everyone. I'm so nervous to go um, Link. Uh, let's just try this. We have to go for Elliot. Elliot's their healer. Then Machias. Then Usus. Then we guys for last. So we're up against the guys first. No matter what distance we try to take them attack from, they have someone capable of countering us. Well, as long as we beat them all, we still win, right? <laughs> That's the spirit, but don't let your guard down. Yeah, just stay aware of the distance between us and them, and don't miss any openings they leave us. Looks like you all, you're all fired up and ready to start. Alright then, begin. Stay on guard and don't get cocky! <laughs> leave it to me! Very well. Falling position. No one is knocked out during the battle. Evading counter and enemy attack. Go! Go for Second kill. form. Gale! <laughs> Leave it to me. Eat left! <laughs> Okay, 
well. Make sure everyone's like linked to <laughs> to um green in one in some <laughs> form. All right. Okay, let's finish off. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Now's our chance. Gotcha. I'm down. sorry, everyone. Yes, sir. My turn. We can actually Eat and, uh, Go. Turn. Second form. Gale. <laughs> okay, and we can go. Julia. That's embarrassing. All right. My turn. We just fucking crushed them. This, I don't even think I'm happening. gonna get the. That's that. Let's keep that. moving. That one of the conditions. Well, I don't know if we meant the other one. That's enough. Match goes to team whatever. The three of you fought pretty well together. We, we did it. Not bad. Haha, uh -huh. you guys didn't stand a chance. Don't get so full of yourself. Come on now. The three of you certainly don't pull your punches. Hey, you got more than a few good hits in yourself. No, they didn't. They got fucking crushed. Team Co class president is gonna be dangerous. Whoa, whoa, don't start breaking out the cold drinks yet. There's plenty more action in store. Next up, team whatever versus team class president. We'll begin after a five minute break. Wait, we have to do two in a row? Fine by me. Oh boy, we got ourselves a real slave driver here. Of course, Emma and Alicia first, and then Laura, then T. Actually, Laura might be first. Laura's gonna pack a hard punch, but Emma heals. But so can fucking Alicia. The girls are stacked. He's a nightmare. I do not want to go against it. Well, at least we have a chance to catch our breath. But now we're up against the girls. It's safe to say that the biggest threat is Laura and Fee on the front lines. I'm guessing those two are going to come out swinging with Alicia and Emma covering them from the rear. Yeah, probably. We're going to have to hold the line and weather their attacks while we look for an opening to break through. Alright, hope you got your strength back, because it's time for our second beautiful battle. Begin. Well, shall we begin? I'll handle of it. Of course. Yeah. My turn. Second form. Dale. <laughs> yes, sir. Blow away. <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh, they, they, these are weakened. They're not using the abilities I use. So this can be a joke. Thanks. Another heal? Nope. Too easy. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. How, here we go. I'm a little confused on what happened right there, but they got fucked. <laughs> My turn. Target locked. Uh, uh, triple kill. I was no. careless. Huh. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. That was very easy. That's enough. And it looks like a victory for the Star Wars team, whatever. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can't believe we lost. We fell just short of victory. You all fought admirably. What a shame. 
It was a close one, though. Not even fucking close. These class 7 gals would just straight take you out before they take out you out for a night on the town, huh? <laughs> well done, Milliam. You too, Emma. I'd make team whatever go a third round, but there's no one else to fight, so I guess they get to rest. We'll review your performance later, but in the meantime, we got team cla class president and team vice president going head to head. Both teams step forward. AP you can actually get from that. Well, looks like that about wraps it up. That final fight was a real thriller from start to finish, too. It was certainly a good fight, but who would have thought that they'd take advantage of such a tiny opening like that to overwhelm us? That's far and feed for you, I guess. I can imagine that where combat is concerned, they would handle me best most of the second years. Swing a sword is one thing, but we were relying on that Lisa and Emma to keep up the pressure. Yep, wouldn't have been nearly as effective without them. I'm glad you think so. Still, it's safe to say that everyone fought pretty well. I had this funny feeling that Reed's team would come out on top, though. Winning both of your matches with a new team is pretty impressive. I feel like I was riding on Crow and Millions' efforts, though. Nah, don't sell yourself short. You're pretty strong. Yeah, Breen, you actually fucked them up real good. And you're tougher than you look, too. I see your practical exams are as unconventional as ever, Lieutenant Nightheart. Yep. I think that they do the characters in this game very, very well. Um, because, like, they cannot tell you the name of the person. Just reading the text, you can probably... You can usually guess who the person is. Instructor Nighthorn? Oh, I was under the impression that having back-to-back -back battles with uneven odds was par for the course in actual warfare. And don't you think learning to fight effectively against cutting opponents with team tactic tactics is important for any soldier? Well, that's certainly true. Um, so what brings you here, Instructor Nighthorn? Please tell me this isn't the part where we have to fight both of the instructors at once. <laughs> of course not. Just like that. Like last month's field study in the capital, your upcoming field study is also a bit unusual. Instructor Nighthart here has been involved in making the arrangements, which is why I asked him to come. What do you mean by unusual? We're going to the trade conference, aren't we? That sounds a bit ominous. Well, we just about wrapped things up anyway, so let's move on to announcing your next field study locations. Crossbow. Okay, Group A. Reen, Laura, Emma, Eusis, Gaius, and Billingham. Study location with Graham. Really? Graham? Graham? Interesting. Group B. Alicia, Fee, Machias, Elliot, Crow. Study location. Uri, Special Economic Zone. After two days, re reassemble at the designated location. Well, the Graham is Vara's hometown, right? It is. It's a lakeside town in the south of the Cruzan province, blanketed by thick fog for most of the year. As a castle town dating back to the Middle Ages, it has more than its fair share of local legends and tall tales. Sounds like quite a historical hotspot. If I'd gone home for summer vacation, I would have returned to Trista only to turn around and head right back home again. I guess that's true. So what about this URI special economic zone? I'm pretty sure it's a city up on the far northwestern coast of the Empire. It used to be independent, but the Imperial government runs the show there now. Oh, there it is. I think Gramsci annexed it about eight years ago. She's related to the Chancellor, isn't she? This is her... Graham she's referring to is yeah, probably Mr. Blood and Iron himself, the Chancellor. Honestly, do you even think about the words coming out of your mouth? Why? It's not like it bothers me. Both locations seem worth checking out. Though that final line makes me curious. None of our other field study instructions had anything like it. 
After two days, reassemble at the designated location. True. Usually wherever we go, that's where we stay for the duration of the field study. Care to shed a little light on that, Instructor? I could, but I wouldn't want Instructor Nightheart to feel like it, feel left out, so I'll let him do the honors. As you wish. After completing your assigned tasks in your respective areas, you'll be boarding a train bound for the rendezvous point. That point is a notable military installation in the southeast of the Empire, Corellia Fortress. Corellia Fortress? That's that giant base on the border facing the Republic. So after we finish our regular field set, we're going to be whisked away to a major military base? Yeah. It's part of your field study, of course. I'll be joining you there to serve as your military liaison for the duration of your visit. Naturally, you'll all be given a series of assignments specific to that location. Hmm. Wow, sounds like fun. I very much doubt that's the intent. Sounds like I'm going to be put through the ringer on my very first field study. Something wrong? That's where his dad is. N nah, don't worry about it. Well, I'm looking forward to another installment of your action-packed field study reports. But just so you know, I'm planning on joining you at Corellia Fortress 2. I'm not going to let the big bad army man push my adorable little students around. I have no intention of asking anything unreasonable of them, nothing that deviates from their curriculum. Unlike a certain other instructor whose name we shan't mention. <laughs> Is it even safe to keep these two in the same room together? Just fucking fight it out or go fuck each other or something. That's way too much sexual tension for these children. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the academy. Strega's A1 has a perk? Thank you for everything. Oh, wait. I was reading that as like, oh, it's like an actual like perk point type thing. But no, it's just like a, we just got an item. Field study day. Oh, there's feet with, um, Celine. There's our boy, Reen. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. We're heading out on our field study today. I don't need to get up just yet, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or I could just give in and go back to sleep. I'm still feeling kind of beat after training last night. Huh? Nope. I'm here to fuck your shit up. She's gonna jump on the bed. Wakey, wakey! She's 13. She's Come on, 13. Reed, She's 13. It's time to rise and shine. We're gonna miss the train. Stop that! That's not very ladylike. Oh, right in the gut. I can't believe it. My very first class trip. We're gonna have the best time. How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh, oh! Do bananas count as snacks? N no, no, they don't. Just, just get off me, please. Ah, there you are. Good morning, Reen. <laughs> Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah, Coffee only wishes it was that effective. She must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> it certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. But at times like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. <laughs> I don't know which stories you've heard, but most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty, though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, Fee, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too. I hope they enjoy their trip. Sorry to keep you waiting. Y 
excuses. Good heavens. Ugh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. Let's go, go, go! It's like, kill me. All rare quartz and accessories have been unequipped from the other group members. Oh, huh? there's something in my mailbox. Missy's signature and the shield number 120 are printed on the sticker. Isn't this an event time sticker? I thought you couldn't get one of these unless they read out your submission on the show. Oh, it came with an O. Last week's go chat was fun. Sorry to use you as show material, though, Misty. Oh yeah, she did talk about our meeting on the show last week. I guess that's why she sent me the sticker. Well, you seem pretty rare, so I'll be sure to take care of it. What you doing, Reen? Did something arrive for you? Yeah, an acquaintance sent me something. An acquaintance? What a curious choice of words. Just remember that students shouldn't get involved in anything too dubious. Okay, you're all definitely got the wrong idea here. Well, shall we head towards the station? Alright. I want to talk to Fee, um, who's over here with the cat, before we uh, end the episode. <coughs> Where are the others, Fee? Getting stuff ready before we leave. I'm ready, so I'm playing with Celine. Good girl. I guess they got along since... They get along since Fee's kind of like a cat like herself. Oh, she's a cutie. I want to pet her, too. We missed the train because of this. Let's make our way to the station once we're all ready. All right. We're going to end the episode here. Next episode will be us uh, traveling to Will Graham. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.